During this lesson, we will construct the front of pants using various drafting tools and other frequently used tools. We begin by building the basic frame for the pattern using guidelines. Draw a guideline by dragging from the side rulers. Type a distance and click next to the selected guideline to make a parallel guideline. In order to select guidelines, the control and tab keys must be depressed. Construct the crotch line using the Bezier Polyline tool. Notice how the point is placed 0.25 inches away from the guideline intersection. The clicked location should be close to, but not right on the intersection. Right-click to finish the polyline. We want to add a point at the midway point of the selected section. Use the divide line, select the section, and click the line with a quick step entry of 2. Move the control point tool to the inseam line and type 1 to add a point at the halfway point. We want to add another point 2.5 inches above the new point. Type 2.5 and click the right side of the new point. This technique is called quick step and it eliminates time consuming dialogues. Using the detached quick step option, the flip line tool can produce a flipped copy of the selected sections. The drag line is the mirror line for the flip operation. Adjust the length using the length tool. The clicked end is where the length adjustment is made. At this point, the hip line is made up of two disjointed lines. Type J for join and drag a line from one section to the other to join the two lines. Now select the section and use the BB quick step to blend the hip line. We want to add a dart on the waistline. Draw a T section 3 inches long using the Bezier polyline tool. Switch to the control section tool with spacebar and use the V quick step to add a dart with 3 quarter inch width. Now we demonstrate how to do dart blending. Select the curve blending tool. Select both sides of the dart shape. Drag a line from one side of the dart to the other side. Right click to start the blending. BB quick step selects the Bezier control point method. Now, we show you how to make the zipper cover shape. Select the parallel line tool. Enter the parallel line gap amount and click below the selected line. E quick step extends the parallel line so that it's joined with the waistline. Use the flip tool with the detached option to flip the zipper cover shape. Now we use the trace to create an actual pattern from the group of lines. In order to fill the dart, select the dart fill tool. Select both sides of the dart shape. Drag a line from one side to the other. The dragging direction determines the dart folding direction. Adding a notch to existing points is very simple. Simply type N for notch and select points. Selected points become notch points. Another selection removes the notch.